Webb has been observing brown dwarfs. And these are considered failed stars, giant Jupiters, somewhere in between a red dwarf star and a giant planet. And because these planets are cool, they're the perfect object to be observed by Webb with his infrared instrument to detect the heat coming from the world. And so Webb looked at a triple brown dwarf system. And in one of them, Webb was able to detect the presence of silicate in the atmosphere, sand. They were also able to see methane, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sodium, potassium, and even water vapor. So many of these chemicals have seen before, but Webb is so powerful that you get this unambiguous signal for the presence of these chemicals in the atmosphere of this star. Many of the planets found so far are known as hot Jupiters. These are stars with several times the mass of Jupiter that orbit incredibly close to their star. We know about them because they're relatively easy to find. They have a large gravitational influence on their star. They also can pass in front of the star and block a lot of the light. And so a lot of these have been found. We don't know how common they are, but they're sort of like the low hanging fruit of exoplanetary research. But thanks to Webb, we're able to study how these planets behave as they go around their stars. And so one of the most famous of these is called WASP 18b. And we've known about it since 2009, it just takes 23 hours to orbit around its star. This is a classic hot Jupiter it has 10 times the mass of Jupiter.